Check two, apples, oranges, hello, one, two. Hi, this is David Commentoy, and welcome to Blog This, where we cover the EEE -E -E news. That's right, entertainment, entrepreneurship, email marketing. Staying in the room with me is Bruce Ando Jr. and Jason Banks. Yo, yo, in the house. I'm gonna break the fourth wall. Look, green screen. Okay, we're back. Entertainer, entrepreneur, email marketing master, David Kamatoy, the most talented Filipino comic juggler, rock star, radio personality, hitman you're ever going to meet. Okay, he's not a rock star. Say hello to my little friend, David. Hi, it's David Kamatoy. Welcome to Blog This. We're back, and we're talking about entertainment, entrepreneurship, and email marketing. On today's show, uh, we're condensing a few things, and later on, you want to stay tuned because we're premiering a, a video we shot with Mark Christopher Lawrence, the Activia Challenge. That's right, people. The Activia Challenge is, is uh, up after we'll talk a little bit about how we shot that. It's pretty funny. Um, on our news, we want to cover a, a little bit of uh, e-marketing entertainment. We always want to find out what's happening. And these are some of the headlines that I've, headline number one, Apple's iPad is everywhere. In our one of our initial shows, we talked about the iPad and said that, well, it's just a glorified, uh, you know, where's the keyboard and people are going to have issues with this. But we couldn't count on the reality that people fell in love with the item. And as I'm reading here on gigacom, gigaom.com, it says here, uh, even the most bullish estimates of the iPad sales were not bullish enough. In the holiday quarter, the company sold 7.3 million iPads, bringing the total to about 15 million iPads sold. That's insane. But here's the real quote, and the you know I don't have one yet, and I don't I don't know if I plan on getting one. Uh, Jason, you're not going to plan on getting one. I would rather have a Droid. But the reality is, is that I see here that in the quotes it says, "I fell in love with the device the minute I got my hands on it." The reality is, it does have a great feeling to it, and we really couldn't get away from Apple's branding of people falling in love with items, which it goes back to the e-marketing uh, of the concept of when you're thinking about how you put out your items and your business, one of the questions you have to ask yourself is how do I feel about my own product or how do I feel about this product? How do I feel about your product? And uh, that's the lesson from the iPad story. In our next story, uh, apparently Bristol Palin confirms a new boyfriend. Say it with me. Who cares? That's right, Palin, 20-year-old daughter of former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin confirmed on the Bob and Mark show in Anchorage, Alaska that apparently she has a new man in her life. And again, who cares? Moving on. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna put out press releases on, uh, on my hair being cut and random things. I just, it's funny what we uh, decide to call news. Check out the blog if you're looking back on a business perspective on entrepreneurship. We've got a great report we put together with our client Craig G. Francis of SBA Loan Store and Craig G. Francis. Granted, Craig is very much a uh, you know conservative business guy, and I love that about him. But you want to read this report. If you're very serious about being a business person in 2011, you want to read the report. And the reason is, is he d gives some extremely uh, succinct and very, very sobering advice. Craig G. Francis talks about us being at least three to five years away from recovery. And here's some of the bullet points from the blog. And you'll find this on davidcommentary.com as well as craigdfrancis.com. Here they are. The savings and loan failure of the mid-1980s cost the government about $150 billion in bailout funds. Is that million or billion? The economic recession of the early 1990s, coupled with the failure of nearly a thousand banks, cost the government about $500 billion in bailout funds. This Great Recession, the one we're in now, is responsible for the collapse of Wall Street, the failure of over 300 banks to date, and $4 trillion in bailout funds spent to date. Seems like the cost of bailing us out has increased by several orders of magnitude. Okay, so now here's some of the good news. Businesses can give a small cheer to the extension of lower taxes for individuals and small corporations. The blog, also, the posting goes on to say, banks are starting to provide the needed capital for growth to the entrepreneurs of this country. The SBA fee reductions and higher guarantees for small businesses that segment 
that segment that represents the greatest portion of job creation. That there is a huge opportunity that's going to happen in the next six years, but it's probably going to take longer for us as entrepreneurs to slug it out. So that's the story. Check it out. I invite you to read that on craiggfrancis.com. The Sundance Film Festival happened last week. And actually, a movie that I worked on called I Melt With You was directed by Mark Pellington uh, and starring our buddy Thomas Jane, uh, Jeremy Piven, Rob Lowe, and Christian McKay. Is On uh, the 21st, they had a chance to do a Canon workshop. Eric Schmidt, the DP, uh, showed some of our footage at the behind the scenes uh, of behind the scenes to look at how they shot the film on the Canon 5D and 7D, the same camera we're shooting this on. Uh, at Sundance, that's right kids at Sundance I Melt With You the movie was picked up by Magnolia that's right uh, here on MovieLine.com in an article by Jen Yamato with an interview uh, it goes, the article the post goes on to say Magnolia's offer came in following the first press and industry screening of I Melt With You aka the one with all the walkouts uh, another post you might want to check out there but here who beat at least two other interested parties to the punch and grabbed it prior to its public Sundance premiere. And please follow that movie. It's called I Melt With You on Facebook and on Twitter. Once again, I'm David Kamatoy, and here's the video. Once again, our premiere video, uh, it's got about 300 plus views on YouTube right now. It's Mark Christopher Lawrence taking the Activia Challenge. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark Christopher Lawrence, and I'm gonna take the Activia 14 day challenge. You know, I've always been known as a skeptic. I don't believe that in 14 days they can get you regular. So, Activia, day one. This is me. Okay, this is Mark again. Uh, day three of the Activia challenge. Um, day one and two came and went, nothing. So, day three, here we go. People say I'm still full of it, so. I'm given an opportunity to do his thing. And this is life. You don't even get all fat while you're chowing down for 14 days. Mmm, yummy. Mm. Good stuff. Hi, this is Mark. Uh, day seven, end of the first week. A mm, little something, nothing to write home about. You know, but I'll give it the old college try. I'll go ahead and uh, jump into that second week, you know, with vigor and see how that works. Right. Get up over there. Yeah, take the challenge. Hmm. Hi, this is Mark, uh, day nine. Um, <clears throat> definitely starting to feel at work. It's, uh, you know, doing something. Like, excuse me. Hi, this is Mark. <clears throat> day 14. No, no. Day, day 12. It feels like 14, but it's, it's day 12, and, and, and um, you know, it's working. It's, 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 it's working. It works good. Oh! Mm. Cut! You want me to cut? <sighs> you want me to cut, Mark? Wait. I gotta change. Okay, uh, sir. Okay, watch on break. Hi, it's Mark. It's day 14. Activia wins, okay? Uncle, okay? I can't, I can't take anymore. I can't take anymore. Just make it, make it stop. Oh, I gotta go. Okay, so if you're watching that, <laughs> Some of the reactions that we're getting are really funny because it's like people don't people take it seriously and then they it like moves into like oh oh it's a spoof so uh, we'll be shooting more of that but in the room with me is uh, the the uh, the first AD director first AC Jason Banks who actually did Foley on this video he did yeah. Foley and uh, what was it like doing Foley on the video Jason very exciting because can you can you share with us some of your Foleying. 
Yes, thank you very much. That, that was Jason Banks following the Mark Christopher Lawrence video. By the way, if you're interested in comedy this month of February, the first Friday in February, we're going to be at Cafe Muse doing stand-up comedy. On February 8th, we'll be producing a show. Uh, Mark Christopher Lawrence will be hosting and producing a show at Signet. That's comedy at Signet. And we've got a brand new venue coming up. I had to call Mark. I don't know when it is. <laughs> Once again, and we're opening a new comedy venue. That's right, the Jack Dodge Comedy Fiasco is happening at the Jack Dodge Theater downtown on February 19th. Now that's a big venue, so please come out if you can. It's going to be a great night. Vicki Barbalak, Chris Clobber, who's written tons of comedy for other people as well as being a headliner himself. And of course, Mark Christopher Lawrence. All the comics are on the screen, so check that out. Thanks again for watching. I'm David Commatory. We invite you to blog this and blog, of course, all of our blogs. DavidCommatory.com, CraigGFrancis.com, uh, Commatory Media Group, and of course, Juggle Mail. Now, once again, we invite you to take a trial of Juggle Mail. 3.0 has launched, kids. That's right, so you can juggle your business with Juggle Mail and with the Commentary Media Group. We'd like to help you create content for social media and beyond. Anyway, I'm David Commentary. Thanks so much. Peace! Hi, this is David Commentary for JuggleMail.com, your ultimate email marketing program online. We have a system that's called Hot Prospects, and it's sort of hidden. A lot of people don't talk about it, but here's the deal. When you send out an email on our Juggle Mail system, you can track Hot Prospects. What that simply means is this. You can identify who opens and cares about your email based on the interactivity. So your sales team or you can basically look at our integrated CRM and pull up the names and call the people, the top 10, the top 12, the top 50, that actually care about the email that you sent. You go to the site right now, we will give you a free one month subscription with 100 emails so that you can test our system. That's a free a trial for 100 emails for one month, jugglemail.com. Oh, look, again, I'm juggling so you can't forget the name. <laughs>